Welcome to Bailey's Shooting. Over the past couple of weeks, I've uh, had the Pulsar XQ50F to have a look at the uh, thermal imaging unit uh, for spotting. Um, blown my mind completely away, as I've never used uh, thermal in a civilian uh, kind of way. So, uh, being able to use a small handheld unit has been uh, has been pretty brilliant for the foxes, etc. Um, when your Pulsar does arrive. It'll come in this lovely little case here for the unit, as well as uh, you get a um, all of your instruction manuals, obviously, even though it's pretty self-explanatory to use. Uh, you'll also get a lens cleaning cloth, cloth in there. And then when you take it out, you've got the unit itself. Nice little carrying strap on the side. Um, the new battery packs are absolutely brilliant. Um, loads and loads of use out of it. I could probably use it four or five nights on the trot. Um, before the battery actually uh, deplenished enough to be charged. You've got a USB connector just there as well, so you can do your data transfer direct to your computer or charge the unit itself without taking the battery off. Um, just a really quality little unit for spotting with. Plus you've got a nice little lens protector on the front uh, and your normal focus ring, which is, which is there for focusing in your image to get the best quality you can. Um, this unit, uh, the 50F, gives you 4.1 to 16.4 times magnification digital. Uh, the field of view is 7.5 degrees. Um, the detection range is around about 1800 meters, and the actual sensor inside is running at 384 by 288. So, quality, quality little unit. Um, really easy to use, just ideal for in the field, especially with the case and everything else. Um, easy controls on it as well, they've kept it nice and simple. You've quite literally got a power button there. You've got your menu button which you'll press and hold and it'll open up your menu which uh, I'll show you in a second what that, uh, what that entails. Your up and your down options, you press the menu to select and press and hold the menu to actually come out of the menu system. And you've also got a quick record button there. Uh, the on button, when it is running, acts as an auto refresh as well. So you can refresh your image, or if you get a screen lock or anything like that. And this top button here, you can also press once, and it will change the colour palette between the two you've got selected. And if you press and hold it, that is what turns on your Wi-Fi. So that's just a quick actual look at the unit itself, which uh, is a really nice, neat little compact unit. Uh, what I'll do now is um, show you actually how the menu system works. Right then. This is the menu options. You've got your Wi-Fi on and off. You can change the scene mode that you're looking at, which uh, assists in what areas you're working in. You can also change the colour palette that uh, you want to use, depending on what suits you. There's uh, quite a wide range to go through, uh, which is very, very handy indeed. You can also deal with the calibration and you can also change the password for the Wi-Fi for using the stream app as well. As well as this, you can also change the magnification by having a magnification square so the main image stays the same. Or you can turn that off and just completely change the magnification of the entire screen. So just to give you a brief idea, this is a fox that starts off around about 200 yards away. Uh, he gradually tracks towards us a little bit before um, cutting over across to the right hand side of this valley. Uh, but as you can see the image is absolutely brilliant and the small magnification window really does help out on identifying exactly what you're looking at. But this guy was unmistakably a fox. Um, even at 350 yards, I could still ID this animal as being a fox, not a cat, not a dog. Um, I really was quite surprised, quite how clear the image was.
Something else that also surprised me using this unit is the ability to see the animals through light brush. Whereas using uh, IR dependent night vision, obviously you wouldn't be able to see them at all as the uh, brush would completely obscure your vision. Um, so, brilliant so far. The footage now is actually showing a barn owl hunting. Um, caught this by mistake to be honest, but it was quite nice to see as he's uh, just working his way across the fields. Just caught this footage for fun to be honest, just to see what the uh, geese look like in flight. Uh, yet again, I was quite surprised at the, uh, the quality that I could see. Uh, this is a, a rat on part of the farmyard. Um, still absolutely, uh, absolutely brilliant bit of kit to be fair, even for spotting long range rabbits. This unit really has surprised me quite how easy sometimes it is to ID um, rabbits and other quarry. Uh, just had a look over the motorways, we were travelling over into the next fields just to see what it would look like on the uh, live traffic. And uh, here's a nice 120 yard rabbit, nice and clear, really easy to make out what he is. Uh, like I said, overwhelming uh, using thermal imaging. And the next use for thermal imaging, in my opinion, it's ideal if you wanted to use it for uh, deer management or even using it in the daytime if you wanted to uh, find one of your targets that you've shot. Um, it's just absolutely unbelievable. Right, before I sum up this video, it's just another little note just to let you know that all of these units in the Helion range um, come with Wi-Fi and do connect to a Stream Vision app which you can have on Android and on iPhone. So you can download the app onto your phone, you can connect wirelessly to the device and you can stream the images from it and download the images from it directly onto your phone. So you haven't got to faff around plugging into a computer all the time. Um, this is what the Stream Vision looks like on the home screen. And this is how it looks when you're actually looking through the viewfinder. So to sum up this unit, the XQ50F, um, I can't compare it to anything else because this is the first one I've actually used, got my hands on. Um, but I think for 2,460 quid, um, compared to the more expensive units, I can't see there being um, much difference in a way. I know you probably get a sharper image or detection ranges further, but I think this is a mid-range unit for everyday foxing, uh, deer management, land management in general, uh, search and rescue. God, the, the possibilities um, for this kit is, is unbelievable, especially with its size. Um, I highly recommend it, and I really do, and I'm actually going to get on the blower to uh, our supplier and um, try and get older one for myself because it's just a brilliant tool. The time saved when you're going around fields and everything else looking for foxes, looking to do the job for the farmers and landowners that you're out there working for is unbelievable. Um, and plus, the job isn't quite as rushed. You're not, oh, bomb, lamp, seen a fox. Uh, you see the fox before it even knows you're there. If you're calling it in with a call or whatever. They don't even know you're there. And then you can do the work of trying to call it in and uh, getting the human dispatch done. Um, but overall, I do recommend this unit. I will be purchasing one. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if there's anything else um, that you'd like me to review, put it in the comments below. Um, and I'll try and get hold of it from our suppliers and bring it out, have a play with it, do a video on it, and let you know what my honest opinion is of the actual units that you want to see. Uh, so give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, I'm going to crack on. Thank you very much.